three brioche a tête. Aside, there is a spring cheese with pistachio and dates. Nicely decorated with the French tourism attraction. The smell is very nice. It smells uh, typical brioche. The texture looks um, fluffy and light. The smell is a typical brioche smell. Nice flavor brioche. The outside is crusty. The inside is moist. The taste is very nice. It's very good brioche. Very nice, very fluffy. And the aroma is also typical of a brioche. It's not necessary to have the cream cheese in the middle, but it cracked and went aside because there is a way to mold the brioche and to put this head in the center and make it um, make sure that it won't uh, fall aside or uh, while rising. And also, the cracks should should not be there. It should be the top should be smooth. Uh, and this is only a, a matter of knowing how to mold the brioche, especially this one, which is quite difficult. You have to have a, the tip, um, but it doesn't take out any of the quality of the brioche, uh, the taste, the flavor, the the structure. It was the first time I tasted brioche and it had a very yummy taste. Sugar was brought to us from Durban. Madeleines. It's very dry. It is typical taste of Madeleine. Dough is a little bit too dry and too dense. Very sweet. They are better to eat when they come down. It should be lighter. Also, when you make mini Madeleines, they are drier than the, the large ones. Because typically you would put the butter in the, the fridge before baking because you want to create that thermic shock between the heat and the cold to have that hunch on but they taste like typical madeleines the mini madeleines are more difficult than the normal ones the mini madeleines were cute Brioche, what we call brioche nanterre, brioche log, cut in slices. The smells nice, smells really brioche. Obviously, it's a little bit stale because from yesterday. But the taste is nice, mm. it's fluffy, it smells better, the size is quite big, the texture is nice, I don't know how much butter she puts but I think it needs a little bit more butter, but um, the, the, the flavor and the, the texture is, is very nice is the characteristic of the of a brioche and even made yesterday it looks and tastes fresh it's a beautiful brioche the form is nice uh, it it looks like it risen a lot the presentation is uh, beautiful 
it's a, a very neat work and um, a tasteful brioche. This brioche was my fave that I ate most of it. Oh, honey, honey. Oh, she made my blends. Should have a hunch, which this madeleine don't have. This is not spongy, and I I don't know if she used butter. Madeleine usually are should be uh, spongy, light, and this is too dense and too white. I don't know if you used butter, uh, it's too dense. For madeleines that have been made today, they seem to already too stale. They don't taste like madeleine. Sally I used is, there is not enough butter, and there's too much flour by comparison to the other ingredients. This madeleines were different, not like Lila's. Lila's madeleines were spongy, lemony, and hunchy. Mother Lanes. Mother Lanes. I, I like it's a, a part of the dream of the imagination and all that. But the recipe, oh, that's lovely. That's really nice and elegant. And um, in a time where everyone is running, running, and, and I ha don't have time and I, I don't bother and quick, quick. This is really a name written really nicely. Uh, Miriam is using a no need method. Brioches, of course, will need kneading and more than 15 minutes kneading. If I had to do it by hand, it will take me half an hour and big muscles to knead and to uh, beat and then to lift and beat and knead for about half an hour. The, the brioche is like wet. It's a nice brioche. It's, we don't really taste the brioche. We taste most of the time the, the filling. And although the presentation is beautiful, the, the, the inspiration is beautiful, the work is, must have been uh, a long process. Um, I would have put half or even less than a half of the filling, almond filling, into this brioche to enable us to taste the brioche, the texture of the brioche, the taste of the brioche, the fluffiness of the brioche, and then the filling, which will combine nicely together. Um, I would have left out completely the essence or, made, or put a really a small drop. Because not everyone likes it, and especially the kids. It was a hard shape, but a little bit strong. And the winner is... The winner of Ask Nani Ma Baking Tani 2013 is Mrs. Tasnim Jadwad Kasuji. Bonbon et voilà. Her brioche were very fluffy, buttery, not too sweet, and taste like buttery it's a typical taste of uh, a brioche you are my candy girl and you got me wanting you honey oh sugar sugar of loving